everybody, it's Kurt here, uh, reporting live from Madrid. I'm, I'm out enjoying this beautiful day, taking a little walk with my dog, Macho. Say hi, Macho. Hello. Anyway, uh, today is a great day because uh, it is the release of the new EP, The Lost Weekend EP. And, uh, and I thought I'd do something special. Uh, take a walk around Madrid and tell you a little bit about each song, like a track-by-track -track commentary, and also uh, multitask by, by taking a walk and enjoying the day, so, and you can enjoy the sights. So, here we go. Are you ready? Hear about the new record? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Okay, jumping right in. The Lost Weekend EP. What exactly is the Lost Weekend EP? It's it's a uh, it's a kind of an odds and ends kind of thing. Uh, some unreleased tracks, and then some tracks that were released as B-sides, and also on some pretty limited edition 45 records that are now out of print. So now they're they're available for the first time uh, digitally on your spot Spotify, your iTunes, your Pepsi Max. You know, all those places where you download stuff. I don't know. Uh, but you do. Anyway, so track number one, here we are. So this is a cover of Peace, Love, and Understanding. What's so funny about Peace, Love, and Understanding? Originally written by Nick Lowe in Brinsley Schwartz, but then kind of made famous by Elvis Costello. And this is a special cover because it's actually kind of a collaboration of sorts. This was uh, recorded by the great band Los Reactivos, who are from Castellón, here in Spain. And I've known those guys for a while now, good, good friends of mine. And when I first moved to Spain, I actually went down to Castellón and uh, recorded a couple songs, a little side project that we were working on at Rockaway Studios. And uh, we, we did a few things. Those songs have not been released yet, but someday. But uh, they had asked me if I wanted to record lead vocals on the track because they actually have a cover of, of the song as well and uh, so it was kind of fun to sing the song in uh, the wonderful Rockaway Studios and to, to do another Elvis Costello Nick Lowe cover I've done a few of those now but uh, yeah Los Reactivos is a great band and as you can tell in the song they're they're very rocking and yeah we had a lot of fun with that one so now it's here for the first time ever for you to hear a collaboration me and Los Reactivos. Okay, yeah! Track two, here we are. This song's called Girls Got Money, and it was featured on uh, the Collectors Club Records 45. We, we put out a, a single that was limited to 200 copies. Uh, Collectors Club was a record label, still still putting out stuff that uh, Jeff Useless from, from The Connection and also played in the KB band. Uh, we, we worked together on putting out a few releases a few years ago. Some of them, uh, including Wimpy and the Medallions uh, and White Thunderbirds 45. Uh, yeah, so it's all very DIY stuff. So there was a very limited release uh, which featured the song Girls Got Money and uh, Yeah Yeah, which is not on this EP, but maybe it will come out soon. Let's hope. And uh, yeah, what about the song? So the song uh, was written kind of with uh, the influence of Nick Lowe, of course. We like that kind of pub, pub rock kind of sound. And yeah, the, the lyrics, you know, especially, you know, with, with, with Nick Lowe, I loved how he kind of made his uh, songs very relatable to anybody. So I hope anyone can relate to the song. Uh, not getting, you know, the fancy diamond rings or the champagne that you so deserve. Well, it's a lot of fun anyway. And uh, yeah, the, this this track was re recorded in Maine uh, back in 2013. Features Jeff, uh, Jeff Useless, Josh Malia on rhythm guitars. We have Zach Sprague on drums, uh, Chris on keyboard, and synth backup vocals. He does a little bitch and little synth line there. And Kip Brown stopped by and recorded guitar. So dig it, yo. All right, now we are rolling right into track three, a, another cover tune, this one being Bad Boy by Larry Williams, uh, also made famous a little bit by the Beatles, and uh, the band on this track is the KB Combo uh, from here in Spain. 
and this track we had been well we've been playing this song a lot live and we figured we might as well record a track in the studio at Jorge's studio quadraphonic sound in Leon and yeah it's a it's a it's a nice little ditty I hope you enjoy it and also I'd actually like to take this opportunity to let you know that we are working on a new record uh, the KV combo for wicked cool records and that should be out in the spring so this kind of EP of sorts, the Lost Weekend EP, is a kind of a nice way to cleanse the palate of sorts. Kind of get out all the tracks that have been sitting around and uh, get, get it ready for releasing a new record, which I'm very excited about. So, enjoy. Look at those guys on the Segway. <laughs> And now we're on to track four. Track four and five, uh, Give It Up and Motion Devotion, were both uh, released originally on a 45 for the rockin' record label, Hidden Volume Records, based out of Baltimore. Haribo, and Natty Bo, lots of bows, love Baltimore, and crab cakes. Anyway, uh, great, great little label, and they released this single. To a limited, it's another limited edition release, so now it's available uh, for digital for the first time. Uh, and yeah, so give it up. Uh, recorded by the combo again at Quadraphonic Studios, and yeah, it's the songs of, I guess it would uh, be influenced a little bit by a band I like called The Muffs. Uh, Kim Shattuck writes some great songs, and I've always been a fan, so that, that influence kind of steeped in uh, on this kind of rocky little song and that's about all I can tell you about that one sometimes I like to just look around at all the old doors in the city big doors massive doors anyway track five uh, Motion Devotion, again, on the single, uh, originally released on the single with uh, Hidden Volume. This would be the B-side to Give It Up. And this one's a little more, it's a little different. It's a little more garage rock. I've always loved garage rock. Fuzzy guitars and kind of garage sounds. And Jorge, who recorded this and is the guitar player uh, of, of the combo, was able to get that kind of nice fuzzy guitar sound uh, so this yeah this is a kind of a mix of those guitars you know 60s guitar influence the garage rock stuff and then you know throwing a little Beatles vibe on on the bridge and you've got uh, a KB combo song so there you go I hope you like this one a real lot yeah so we're just ra wrapping it up almost uh, EPs are generally pretty short, so we've got two more songs left. If you're bored, sorry. <laughs> uh, so this is track number six. Track number six, TGIF. Thank goodness it's Friday. And thank goodness it is Friday. It's Friday, September 22nd. Yeah! And uh, so, what about this song? This is a song uh, originally recorded by Doug Brown and the Omens out of Detroit uh, and I believe actually Bob Seger might have been playing on this song I'm not sure but it's possible it is quite possible Bob Seger pretty cool uh, so this is actually this was a bonus track that was released on the European edition of play it cool uh, on vinyl and so if you had if you had purchased the record on vinyl play it cool um, then you have this track but if you didn't then now you do and uh, what to say about this? I, I originally heard the original song uh, on uh, on a compilation, Friday Night at the Hideout, and it's it's a party song. I like party songs, which kind of goes into the whole theme of the Lost Weekend. These songs are lost, and they were probably recorded on a very wild and drunken weekend. Uh, so, so there you go with that. This was recorded uh, at a few different places. The drums were tracked by Adam Cargan. Uh, in uh, Madison, Wisconsin, and then we finished up the track uh, produced by by Wyatt, and uh, we finished that off at at my 
at my old stomping grounds on Mitten Street in, uh, in, in an old state of Maine. So that's kind of how this song kind of came about. It's a fun one. I love Fridays. I hope you like Fridays too. And we have reached the end of the road. Here we are, track number seven. This one's called Keep Away. And this song was actually co-written with a, with a great musician and a good buddy of mine, Dan Vapid, who you may know from, from the Riverdales or Screeching Weasel, uh, the Methadones, Mopes. Um, and as it is, is actually, uh, we had done uh, some tours. Uh, Dan Vapid and the Cheats is his, his uh, latest project and the KB Man did a couple fun tours. Uh, back in the day and around 2012 or so we ended up co-writing this song that you are hearing now and it was well it never was released I don't know why we never released it it should have been re probably released on uh, on the brand new b-sides record but it, it didn't it didn't come out I don't know why but here it is now uh, produced by by Wyatt Funderburg uh, we recorded the the vocals, the lead vocals at Stanish Rock City, which is uh, Chris Chris Rogers' studio in in, uh, in Maine, and uh, and it came out it came out pretty well. I, I think it's got a kind of a different vibe to it, and it's a nice nice way to close out the record. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you enjoyed this wonderful afternoon walking around the, the sunny streets of Madrid and hearing all about the Lost Weekend EP. So stay tuned for the new record by the Carrot Baker Combo, and we will be rocking and rolling soon. Adios. <laughs> <laughs>